Alright ladies and gentlemen, so this is going to be a video mainly for newer players, but who knows, maybe you've been playing a while and you still, you know, don't know that much, but it is an accessory video. I've seen so many people say, this unit is horseshit, what are you talking about? I have these accessories and I don't do any damage, yada yada yada, and there are like some things you can like change, you know, but for the most part, it's going to be like one base set per kind of character um but yeah the, like the main amount of your damage is coming from your accessories if you don't have good accessories on your characters they're probably gonna feel terrible i would say it would probably go accessories your links and then transcendence in terms of damage unless you five five them you know then then that's a pretty big bulk but yeah because the main thing that i've been seeing people come into streams they say or they in my comment section they say this unit isn't that great you know he they I have this X, X, Y, and Z, and it does feel great. Uh, or an epic grade, you know, you're joining randoms. Obviously, this could just be, like, newer players, as I said, but, like, I've seen builds like this, and I'm just like, why are you joining epic grades with a 555 character, you know, no, like, these links that it doesn't benefit anything, and then these accessories. Like, you're just not doing much. Uh, this one as well I saw earlier, and it's just, for starters, I mean, his links aren't, no, actually, it's a mind character. No, that's terrible, actually. He got the right transcendence, though. But for accessories, you mainly want new or the right attributes. So for Asajin, he is a normal attack damage character. Uh, and you would want mind accessories with mind links. I, do, I think links and accessories, you know, the right attribute is a bit annoying at first. I won't lie. Uh, you know, you have to keep rolling and whatnot and trying to actually uh, get the right ones. But, you know, you, you would like something that helps out. So, you know, if you're newer, then it's it's fine. But this is just a video for what you should work towards. I'm not shaming you if you're a new player and you don't have the right accessories or anything. Because I have seen quite a few people come into stream and say, I'm just too new. I don't have anything, which is fair. This is just a video to help help you be like, oh, okay, so this is the accessory I want to do. Also, there are free ones. So if you don't know, you uh, summon with tickets to get accessories from the point event. I have a guide on how to farm the point event if you need. Uh, do not use orbs. Do not use orbs. I've done it, and it was an absolute waste. You could go thousands of uh, orbs and not pull a single five-star. You want to get them from tickets, okay? And you farm this through the point event. Uh, and then there are some uh, accessories that are just better. So I'll, I'll just pop a 100 real quick. I still need a power Yuki, which I'll probably never get. That's an insane pull for anyone else other than me. Either way, as you can see, this would be an accessory for a normal attack damage character. It reduces SP to zero, but increases all of your other stats, max of 36%, which is a very, very, very good item in the game, mainly for NAD characters or like in GQ or Brave Battles. Um, but if I go to my accessories, uh, for example, actually, let, let me actually just go to the character and show you uh, because some, maybe you don't know what a nag character or an SP character is. A SP character or a strong attack damage character is one that relies on SP. So like their base SP will be higher than their attack. That's one sign. Uh, they'll have strong attack free charge or strong attack damage unless they're a super outdated character. Really old characters, this doesn't always apply. But for newer characters, they will have frenzy, stuff like that. Um, SP boost as well. Uh, usually they'll have Berserker, but sometimes they just don't. The KO just doesn't give it to them. Um, but yeah, a high SP boost. Uh, they have high base spiritual pressure, or they have strong tag damage and strong tag recharge on their kits. That's usually what defines an SP character. And then you would give them accessories according to what they need. So for accessories for an SP character, uh, you would go to here. Uh, each go is a heart character, so you would sort by heart. And then if you have the accessories re-rolled, which I have a guide on that too, you would sort by SP. And as you can see, the text for this accessory right here is highlighted. You would simply equip that one. Let's keep on going because it increases your spiritual pressure by 50% on top of it with an extra 30%, which is going to be a huge extra bulkier damage. Keep going. Don't see it. And then this one right here, the fortification pill is one of the best accessories in the game used almost everywhere for an sp character uh increases sp and focus plus 30 percent on top of an extra 30 percent from the reroll so we'll equip that one um and then there are other accessories as well like human or like killer stickers are mainly in gq uh that way you get an extra bonus for killers so that's also another very very good accessory the hunting cap is a very good 
option to replace let's say you don't have the golden accessory which is what the t sets are considered they're like base only five stars uh you could swap that out for that the hunting cap you can farm in a, a training ground accessories uh, and get that there uh you know, Catacorn Alpha is another strong attack damage item, just like the Lieutenant's Badge right here. This is usually what you will end up using uh, in most instances. There is another accessory that you can actually farm uh, and just or just buy uh, with uh, gold in the PvP shop uh, if you keep on going. I forgot all of mine actually have attack because uh, I'm mainly only using them for my NAD characters. That is my bad, uh, but it's called a Hollow Bait. And you can get this from re-rolling for four stars and whatnot, but increases your attack and focus plus 30%. It's not bad, and then you would just give it 30% SP for a SP character. That's mainly what you would end up doing. And then, you know, there's like the niche ones. Like, let's say you need a hit in, uh, hidden enemies, you would use it like a Zeta pill, or maybe you want a nuke, so you would use like a tension tire or something, uh, which increases your soul bomb damage. But this is like the main gist of it. As for character links, I can just quickly go over what you would do. Uh, I usually sort by SP, go for whatever attribute character you need, and then go for soul trait. Either mix of recharge and strong attack damage, so like Kapachi, Great Great, uh, those characters, or you could sort by the full stamina damage link, uh, which is also another very good option. You know, quite a few because it increases all of your attacks, your strong attack damage, and your soul bomb and your nad string when you're at full stamina. So everything gets increased, not just your strong attack damage. Uh, and then you have the new link, full stamina only, increased strong attack damage. There's not that many, but it is like considered the best strong attack damage increased link in the game. So you would go ahead and like equip these two. And then let me equip one more just so that you can see like the full uh, SP. Uh, from like Max Transcendent Links. Uh, let me just go ahead and add the Tosh. So once you go ahead and add all that stuff, you can see that he has an additional 5,582 SP. Pretty darn good. So he's he's at 5,582 SP. You could probably get a higher, but yeah, that is the gist of like an SP character. Now, uh, I'll, I'll show you where you can farm the Shinji Cap because it is a pretty good accessory. If you go to Power Up Quest, uh, you just go here and then it's like the Hiori training ground or whatever it is called accessory training ground right here you can farm uh, it doesn't show it on the picture which I think is really stupid but it, it is in here it takes a bit of stamina but you can get the very good uh, brave battle item and then the Shinji hunting cap uh, and then if you go into battle you can buy some of the normal attack damage and strong attack damage items in the accessory shop obviously i don't it's not like the best because it is kind of expensive but these are the strong attack damage items uh down here and then the normal attack damage items are down here i believe you can buy hollow baits i was wrong i thought you could buy hollow baits i was wrong it was the uh wooden sticks and the chappies that i was thinking of my bad you have to roll for the uh the hollow baits my bad uh now masaki is a normal attack damage character so I'll quickly go over here, but as you can see, she has normal attack damage as her soul trait. Uh, her base attack is also really, really high, so that will be why. Uh, and then she also ends up having Flurry, which is a normal attack damage skill. Uh, and then that's really the only thing, and her Bruiser is also very high, or her normal attack damage. It's called Bruiser in the database, but yeah. So how you would equip her, uh, if you go to Accessories, uh, you would simply just sort by attack because that's all she really goes by and the main ones would be a normal attack damage item such as for a, a quincy character you would give oh she's a human my bad a knuckle duster or a eh, hunting cap is like whatever hollow bait is a very good one uh or the main ones that you would end up using would be a golden chappy dispenser and then the uh regular chappy that this is what you would mainly use. There's not that many accessories for these characters, uh, especially because it's not tied down to affiliation for the Chappies, which I think is a very, very good thing. And then obviously in like Guild Quest, you could give them like stickers or Masangas or whatever that would be, whatever you would need for that. But that is just a basic rundown or Zeta Pill if you need. Uh, as for links, you would simply just go by, uh, I guess for Masaki, full stamina damage wouldn't be the worst because she does have an SA2 boost, but for the majority of normal attack damage characters, you would simply just go by normal attack damage and just sort by attack. And that way you get the most out of your attack. 
uh, as you can see, keep going, looking for like a NAD 30, and then NAD 30, and that is how I mainly sort for them. But full stamina damage also isn't bad if you can keep them at full stamina, but it's a bit more annoying. As you can see, the attack is pretty high, 3,685, all the way up to 5,346 at max transcendence. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, and then, as I said, you can summon for the tickets from the point event that you can farm, uh, and maybe buy them from the shop or the... Uh, I guess the defense one isn't a normal attack damage item. That's mainly a PvP item, which this is where it's a bit iffier. Y there's really no way you can tell if it's a Brave Battle character unless it has like Brave Battle only skills. That's like the main teller. Um, but as you can see, Jugum is a pretty good example because he actually has skills meant for Brave Battles, so that makes it a bit easy. Um, and then you can tell he's a normal attack damage character because he has Flurry, so you would give him normal attack damage items. But in, G in Brave Battles, I tend to find giving them defense is better. Uh, so, but it's kind of just up to you. I prefer defense. You can go full attack, but from what I've seen, I mainly end up giving them full defense. Uh, so if you just go to accessories and you sort by defense, this is what I usually end up giving them a uh, chappy, a regular chappy, and then you can give them a guitar if you want them to be super tanky, or you can go full attack and go chappy, double chappy, the regular one, and then like a normal attack damage item if you so please. But this is what I mainly do. Sometimes I use the Sho Shohoan Shield mainly for uh, Chad to dodge or his attacks. Uh, and then you would, for, you know, for uh, this. For Lynx, it's mainly always defense. And then I would give her uh, damage reduction. So that way they can just be super, super tanky. Uh, damage reduction. So you mainly want to go for the 20% because the percentages scale really, really high. Given damage dr minus 20 percent and yeah that is how i mainly do it uh if you guys have any you know tips or anything to farm accessories and whatnot leave it down below this is just more so a quick little beginner guide for players who just don't know what accessories to use etc etc hope you guys enjoyed i will try to reply to any comments that i see but i've just been seeing a lot of people struggling you know like I, I imagine you're not having a good time using a build like this not saying everyone is just that newer players going in not knowing what they're doing and it's probably very aggravating to go in you get kicked because you see people have these accessories and they don't know why they're, they're, bbs doesn't really tell you what to do and the tutorial is so outdated most people just end up skipping it I, I did the exact same. I skipped the tutorial. I, like I, I would just spam to skip on everything because it was just isn't that engaging. It's it's not very good at telling you, hey, use the same link attribute or same link attribute color, uh, accessory color, stuff like that. I really think each epic raid should tell you that you need to use the pet because this Biakio one, people are thinking the game is broken with how annoying the epic raid is because you know people go in if you don't one shot it. You see that annoying mechanic, and it kills your entire team. That's mainly where the spawned from. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's it for the video. Just a quick little thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care, and hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Peace out.